that look level for you guys? Yeah, it's a little high on my level. Okay. No pressure, Chris. No pressure here. No pressure whatsoever. Yeah. Chris, if we mess this up, it's on you. It's my fault. Your fault. A little bit of nerves, what that's like, and really just trying to represent, uh, you know, the forest and the state and the tree and what this is all about. Really, it's really positive and it's super fun, so. My name is Kim Pearson. I'm the district ranger for the New Meadows Ranger District here on the Payette National Forest. I also am in charge of the events for the entire tour, which started today with the tree cutting event. Uh, we have 26 events that will happen between here and Washington, D.C. We'll be starting that kickoff on Saturday. We'll start here. We'll go to Cascade, Horseshoe Bend, Boise at Cabela's. We'll be at the State House. We'll come back through Weezer Council, New Meadows, Lapway, Grangeville, Coeur d'Alene, uh, then around to Salmon, Twin Falls, and Idaho Falls, and then we go across the country through Colorado, uh, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia. Uh, the tree, this is the 50th year that the tree has been provided. Uh, we actually provided 10 Canada trees here on the forest. The architect of the Capitol out of Washington, D.C. came out and made the selection, uh, which was the one that was here today. Um, that tree has to be a certain height between 65 and 85 feet tall. It needs to have three-dimensional viewing, so you want to have it look good from all sides. Um, it's an Engelmann spruce. It's probably between 80 to 100 years old. The tree actually has a great big bladder that will be at the end of the tree that has to have water every single day. This is a great gift for Idaho. This is so exciting. This is really the people's tree. This is a gift to the nation. Uh, it's not just from Idaho. It doesn't sit in front of the Boise State Capitol. It actually sits in front of the U.S. Capitol. It'll be on the West Lawn for the entire month of December and it's truly a gem from Idaho and a gift. Not only the tree, but 18,000 ornaments were made for the tree by students and folks all over Idaho. And really, it's just a celebration of how great Idaho is and that we're grateful for where we live.